Right, everybody, we're going to just give you a little lesson on how to re-rack a barbell. It's something that's come up genuinely a lot over the past week or so. We're not just saying that. So, what we're going to look at, first of all, let's say the bar's overhead. We need to understand that we have to meet the bar. So, we do that in sequence. The arms are going to start to lower, and then we're going to go up onto our toes, and then we cushion the bar with our knees and our hips. Okay, that's really important. If you don't do that, it kind of looks like this. That's it. And LB has some issues with that, I'm sure. Yeah, you end up either smashing your goggles, hitting yourself in the neck so you can't breathe, hurt your back, or just hurt your soul, really. Yeah, we don't want that. Leave your soul alone. So it's really important, guys, just to re-emphasize that we meet the barbell and cushion. So we're going to show you from face on and from the side of the PVC pipe. Sit. So just note how the arms move first, it stays close. Up onto tippy toes to then absorb the bar. Alright? So we'll show you again with something a little heavier. So obviously just with the PVC pipe, LB is that good she can make it look like a heavy bar. Alright, so this is what we're looking for. Brilliant. And it should be almost zero sound. From here, up, and down. Thank you, LB. So guys, that's how you re-rack the bar onto the front of your shoulders, and that's how you stay safe and leave your back and your soul out of the equation.